Hello everyone. So hopefully this is going to be a short video, but what I want to make this video about is something that I wouldn't have come across on my own. Um, the way, so the way I've been printing with my um, DaVinci 1.0 A's is I access the little S micro SD card at the back of the printer. I, I tried uploading through the USB but that is painfully slow. And once I found one second, let me bring the name up. Yeah, once I joined the XYZ DaVinci 3D Printer Users Group, um, I got to talking with Alan Dawson, the, the admin of the group, and he sent me over <coughs> um, basically a link of like a micro SD card extender, which like I wouldn't have found on my own. I didn't even know this th these things existed. So what I've been doing up until now is I've been spinning the printer around every time just to access the um, the micro SD card. So hopefully, I mean, in this video I haven't put it in yet, haven't tested it. So in this video I'll do that, see how it works, and yeah, hopefully it will turn out good. Now, I normally have the covers on the side of the printer, but since I'm making this video, I, I thought I'd take them off, and I gave them a good clean as well, so they needed that. Oh, I'm gonna have to load. All right, so we're at the back of the printer. Let's see how this thing fits, because um, see, I'm not sure if this these side parts are gonna get in the way, but uh, let's see it. Hopefully, I'm not gonna have to turn the printer around ever again. Uh, all right. I'm trying to avoid touching any anything important. Let me get a light. I'm just trying to avoid touching the circuit board altogether because that is not good. Okay, that looks like it's in. That looks like it's fitting good. Wow. All right, so I want this. I've already like thought out how I want this, and I want it in the inside of the printer. And I think we can accomplish that. If I can just get it through here. Nice. So it is a micro SD card to a normal size SD card. Um, <coughs> I'm not sure what kind of problems that's gonna. Uh, bring up hopefully none I'm just trying to put this in in a smart way so it doesn't really I think that's good right, let me let me just be fussy about this and get it a bit better I'll probably cut this part out so oh, so there it is on a printer just to position I don't want to see like I'm gonna assume and say that you probably don't want to be putting <coughs> the SD card in and out while the printer is on I'm gonna assume that because on the Rapetio there's a setting that says unmount SD card and then it says mount so like it's kind of like safely removing a USB drive, which no one does. Well, some people do. I think the best spot would be right here. And... Seems like it's working. Let me check the... Yep. It's reading all the files on the... On the card. I'm going to put a link to the Facebook group. <clears throat> what it's called is the XYZ DaVinci 3D Printer Users Group. And basically, if you own an XYZ printer, go ahead and join the group on Facebook. And there's always people on there willing to help if you have any kind of problem with your printers. There's always people posting stuff, um, talking about new issues coming up, 
and there's there's always a response. So yeah, if you if you seem to be struggling, or even if you you're not struggling, even if you just want to like join the group because you own the same printer, go ahead and do that. Uh, Alan Dawson is the admin. Uh, thank you again, Alan. Uh, amazing, <laughs> like the simplest upgrade, but it's gonna make my life a hundred times easier. All right, thank you guys for watching.